hope you're well. So I'm back with Star Stable. This video is requested by Byronie Sander who requested I did a random SOS video and if I would bring out Dream Beam for a little bit. So I've got BB with me today. And Leah Sumter requested that I show you guys how to get on the roof in Silver Glade. So that's what we're going to do in this video. But I wanted to let you guys know that because Star Stable reached 100,000 Instagram followers, they give out a free code for free star coins. So it's 300 star coins. Uh, I have put the code on the screen right now. So you can go and use that code. Please use it as soon as possible because a lot of these codes are like, you know, time based. So after a certain amount of time, they'll not work. So if you want to get those 300 free star coins, do it now. So I'm going to show you how to get on this roof in Silverblade. And I'm going to show you how I do it. So it is possible to get on the roof with a little bit of maneuvering and so forth. I do find that Shires and Yorvik ponies are probably the most difficult to get on the roof with. But I'll show you what I do. So basically what I do is I counter straight towards the wall and then jump. Now, sometimes you will slide off, okay? That will happen. It depends how you land it. So if you happen to fall off, you can either ride around and come out the other way through the village or you can just go through here. Uh, be careful not to get stuck. It's really easy to get stuck there. That's a real pain. But um, the first time I tried to get up here, it did take me a long time. So don't get too worried if it takes you a while to get up here because it does take a bit of time. Now, if this happens, which isn't ideal, if you fall behind, try not to let yourself slide off. But it does happen. Let's see, Baby, you're going to have to cooperate a bit better, dear. I seem to find that I found Frisians and probably my starter and mint to some of the easiest ones to get in the roof. Bob tends to get stuck between the roof and wall and it's not really ideal. Oh, uh, a gallop that. Well, we landed at a gallop. Generally I do it in canter because otherwise you go too fast. Now once you get on the roof here, there's a couple of things to bear in mind. This gap here, you actually fall off here much sooner than you'd think. Okay, so generally don't go past here. If you go past here, you're going to fall off. So once I get on the roof here, I tend to try and adjust the camera angle so I can see there. And I, right now I'm just going to back up a bit because I find you need to have a little bit of space in order to jump the wall. So once I'm about here, you can turn the camera around. And then the really important part is if I jump for about here, I tend to fall off the other side. You want to try and aim for around here or even over here a little bit. Now if you land over here, you'll find that your horse will start to rear. What you need to do is actually reverse your horse. So I'll show you what I mean by this. So let's go one, two, three. So I counter, and then I try and land right there. And that's where you want to get to. But I'm just going to show you for the purposes of this demonstration what happens if you if you were to land here. Okay? So if I land here, my horse starts to rear. And my horse won't um, leave there. So baby wouldn't let me through. But what you can do is actually reverse. And reversing works quite well. So Let's see, there we go. So we can reverse. So then once you sort of reverse your way back up, you can usually turn around and walk onto this wall. So once you're up here, you wanna to get to this bit and turn around. Now, as I said, if you jump over the wall and you miss, you will go past that tree and land down here and you don't wanna do that. So make sure to try and sort of hit this wall slightly whenever you, um, jump over. The one thing I say is sometimes if you hit that wall you bounce off and land down there again. So then once you're here you need to jump on the roof as quickly as you can and stop as quickly as you can or if you don't stop quickly enough you'll actually go the whole way off the roof. So let's go. Okay so there we go. There's a perfect example of where I just bounced off. Right? So let's try that again. So hopefully it'll be a little bit easier this time. Nope. Baby's gonna just you're gonna disappoint us, Beamy. Don't make me get danger cake. I'll do it. Right. Um, and also for anybody that's wondering, there's a bunch of new Welsh ponies out in different colors. I'm thinking I might get one because I really like the new colors. Like I did like the other colors. Oh, there's a perfect example of where I didn't jump up soon enough. The one thing I will say is if you go to try and jump the wall and you keep failing, Try and jump the wall earlier or later and just keep doing that and changing it up a bit uh, because it will be easier. But you need to jump it at this point. There we go. Okay. Now this sometimes happens where you land behind. And sometimes this can be a real pain. 
but I'm going to try and jump it with um, out falling off. Now this may not work because sometimes it doesn't but if you're quick enough and you really need to be quick. There we go. So this is what I mean about landing on this part of the wall because if I try to walk up, Amy's going to rear. So I want to be able to turn around completely in reverse. If you find that your camera's not reset and try and move your own camera angle with the mouse or whichever way it is on yours. And I'm going to fall off and you always... Oh wait, okay. Well that was lucky. Sometimes that'll happen, which saves you sometimes. I'm falling off completely. Right, now baby. We want to do this in one fellow swoop. Come on. There we go. Now you want to quickly stop as soon as you get up here. Because if you don't stop, I've seen many a person fly off here and go right off this edge. So this is how you get on to the roof of Silvergate. As you can see, I'm on the roof with Beanie. So I just thought that might interest some of you. It's quite fun actually. It is really frustrating, like whenever you first do it, it's really annoying. But it is kind of fun. And I quite enjoyed it. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you to Brian, Sandra and Leah Centre for pressing the video. I hope you settled with it. Bye!